Jones Vade, busy early, Reed clever, Jennifer go all the way. <laughs> now he's going to stretch Brown. He'll bounce it around to the goal. He's bouncing. Usain Bolt wouldn't get him now. And Jenna puts on another one. That is just so exciting. I was just paranoid that, you know, he was going to get done. He was going to get caught. Um, the, the bear turnover had, came, had come back. And it wasn't until kind of he was well and truly, you know, in front that I was, being, I was able to that look up on the screen and realise the gap that he'd built and kind of just relax and, and enjoy it and kind of celebrate with everyone else in the crowd. Usain Bolt wouldn't get him now. That is just so exciting. Amazing goal, one of the great goals in finals. Uh, I think he ran the length of the field and uh, really set the tone for the night, that goal. And I'll, uh, something I'll never forget was that, that, uh, that moment. As soon as I looked up, open paddock. So I just pretty much went for it. Reed clever, Jennifer go all the way. Oh, how good, <laughs> how good is this? Yes, yeah, just made it so much easier. Yes, no one about all my... The opposition was pretty much behind me or on the side of me, so yeah, any, any open grass I see is when I get the footies, you know, little smiles on my face. The ball got kicked out, you know, it was just there was a few fumbles and stuff, and I ended up seeing um, Jetta get it first, and um, I went to go get him, and then I think some other players on our team um, just were occupied with other things, or I reckon they looked the other way because they saw who it was. But, uh, <laughs> I had to go, it was my turn to go, and I just thought, oh, it's, it's a prelim final, I have to go here. What actually meant to do? So um, I went for it. Now he's going to stretch Brown. Usain Bolt wouldn't get him now, and Jenna puts on another one. I remember just watching Lewis just stride away from Nathan, and it was almost as though he was toying with whoever was trying to, trying to catch him, you know, looking back. It was almost like he was looking back and saying, come on, come and get me if you can. And it sort of was reminiscent of one of my heroes of AFL, Michael Long, the way that he used to run away and just sort of look back or sidestep someone and, and say, catch me if you can. Never got close to him and I think he was toying with me because he looked back a few times and smiled and I later found out that he does like to do that. He, he could turn the after burns on and, and burn blokes, but he likes just to be out that touch, just to really just to really tease it. He took a cheeky little look over his shoulder, saw Nathan Brown thought, it's not Patrick Dangerfield this time, I'm going to run all the way. I know for one sure when I went in at quarter time, my hamstrings were absolutely screaming. <laughs> I loved it, but also part of me was just felt for Nathan Brown as well because as a full back you, you don't want to be in those situations and Kyle Hook is the, the famous one when he's had to chase Buddy. It's, it's uh, something that we're, we're in the highlights package for the wrong reasons in those, ca those cases. I feel sorry for Brownie. Uh, you know, and as soon as I get it and he looks up and he's like, oh, just got to run as hard as I can, but I don't know. It's good effort for him, but he's stuck at it, chasing all the way to the goal square. So Credit to him for chasing me that far. I couldn't believe how quick Brownie was. He didn't really put much of a gap on him. If anything, Brownie sort of closed. But you know, Lewis probably had a few extra gears that he, that he had up his sleeve. You know, there is not a player in the league that can pick him up with a yeah. yard from behind. Down there is Malczewski committed to the pack and did well. Grundy. Oh, 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 this is interesting. It's a main event in any stadium in the world. I was in the middle of the field. Um, it's one of the, the greatest moments I've seen on a AFL football field. We knew that um, one of those two guys could break open the game, and um, for it to happen um, so early in the, in the game, and such theatre against the Great Southern Stand, it was uh, pretty amazing. And I just remember saying, "Go Jets, <laughs> go Jets!" Because uh, she was lightning. I played on him a heap of times, and I know how quick he is, but Jets just played with him in the end. And, and got away. But. Jenna pursued by Rioli. Rioli can't go with him. Jenna wins the gold medal. I remember um, Heath Grundy spoiling it and then the ball landed in his hands so I sort of got in his in his face for his easy hand pass and um, yeah he gave it to me and I just took off and sort of had a little glimpse and saw Cyril chase me. Uh, can't get better than this. And um, sort of ran straight towards Goodsy looking for a block. But he sort of, I think he wanted to see it as well because he put a half block on. 
and I sort of just changing my angles of running and by then I had two or three metres on him so, um, and just kept running. Then I saw uh, Sean Bergwijn uh, t um, cutting the angle off so that's, that's how come I kicked it otherwise I would have you know, run down the whole field and had a shot. He was very in a good place at the time and confident and he just tucked the ball under the shoulder and I think he enjoyed the fact that it was Cyril chasing him. You could not have scripted that any better, those, those two boys running down the wing like that in so much space. And uh, if it had been anybody else, Jeddah would have looked over his shoulder, grinned and bounced and just taken off. Well, actually, I think I had a vouch for Cyril here because uh, I was right near Lewis Jeddah and Cyril came from about 20 metres behind me and closed on Jeddah. So I'm backing Cyril in for the quickest. Paul Ruse has said it before, but it doesn't matter who's chasing Jets, whether it's um, a 50 year old man or it's um, Cyril Rioli, Jets will still win by just one metre. When you're in these moments, you don't appreciate them. And it's not until afterwards, when once you can sit back and, and reflect a little bit, you really shake your head and go, wow, that was uh, something. It's a main event in any stadium in the world. Jetta oh, pursued by Rioli. Rioli can't go with him. Jetta wins the gold medal. <laughs> it was Bolton Blake all over again, wasn't it? But in terms of pressure games and where that stands, it's, it's pretty high because uh, not many boys can really do that on the biggest stage in the AFL and, and Jets did that. Well, I think in the, in the grand final, Cyril was in the same position and uh, actually lost a bit of ground, so we can safely assume that I'm quicker than Cyril Rion. Not really. <laughs>